back on generic stage number one. Hmm. So we're going to be seeing, does a stage favor peach you over zero suit? Yeah, definitely, I'd say. Because platforms help a lot, <laughs> especially with combos, I'd say. I'm surprised oh. he's going to go zero suit against Pichu. Yeah, I know I know. Um, with their previous sets, Mia has been having trouble trying to take a set off of uh, IPK. I think Mejia has definitely experimented with other characters. He's tried Mario. I think his Mario did slightly well most of the time. but and He's doing pretty well see. right now. I'm worried that IPK might be pretty well on mental stamina at this point. Yeah, definitely, right? yeah. Especially with that, that set against, he had against Sweet Tea. That definitely seemed like there's a lot a lot of mental stamina. I would have hoped for him to take some time to get some water or something. Yeah, especially against uh, meta. That must have been really draining, considering how close that was. Oh. Would that have been the best way to punish? <coughs> Do you think you would have had enough time to jump on the platform with Zero Suit and get some up tilt or something? Eh, prob probably not, because, I mean, I mean, his attacks are... are, are Pretty fast, but actually landing also takes some time too. Oh. Down tilt to reverse area rush back air. I don't get how people can do the back air part that fast. Oh, with the, the raw back airs? Yeah. From what I understand, you bas it's basically like the motion of doing a, a perfect pivot. Don't SD. Dude. Okay. I think that's a big that, that, Okay. Mi yeah. He, he was definitely trying to hit the ledge, but the angle wasn't right. Yeah. But from what I understand, with raw back airs, you basically do the motion of perfect pivoting in Smash 4. Of course, you don't have to do the exact same speed, but it's more or less the same idea to get this consistently. This suit Samus' forward air is pretty good mm -hmm. for landing with. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm surprised that didn't kill, but I'm also surprised that it almost did. Yeah, I mean, it's Pokemon Stadium's big stage, so. Do the blast zones need to be that big? Oof. IPK. Yeah, if IPK okay. was just a little bit more towards the stage, he definitely would have caught the tether. IP can't handle this much more abuse. <laughs> yeah, uh, he must be, like, really... Like exhausted mentally right now with all the sets he's been going through. I think he needs to go stretch his fingers or something. <laughs> yeah, just take a little breather. And the test already started, so unless Mahia agrees to it, then maybe he thinks he doesn't need it. I mean, IPK, he's been playing for a long time. He has an extensive history in Product M, so I mean, he probably knows his mental stamina more than anyone. I'm sure he's figured out how to deal with that. Ah, uh, that connected properly. Hmm. Imagine if this game was consistent, dude. <laughs> Imagine how much more money people would make. <laughs> Well, I mean, if this game was consistent, that Nintendo still wouldn't give us a pop bonus at Evo. <laughs> oh! You're dead! Yeah. Oh, uh, you can see IPK shaking his head at that. Let's hope, let's, hopefully that won't that won't get to him too much here. I feel like he probably could have mashed out at that percent. Yeah. But it's hard to know. Yeah. I, how do you mash? Do you use the stick or do you use buttons? I use the stick. The buttons are the better option, but stick is less likely to miss input. Yeah, that's that's an issue I have whenever I mash with buttons. I think I think I'm pretty good with mashing. I've been able to mash out of Mihia's down B before, at relatively high percents, but I do it too much that I do like some input off of it afterwards, and that kind of messes me up afterwards too. Okay, so now it's not that big of a deficit on either end. They're pretty much even. Yeah, but I think it was lucky enough to get a good auto cancel forward tilt on Mejia who dropped shield right before. Oh, and Mejia's down. And this is where it starts. Oh, I think he probably should, he Ooh. could have afforded to land on the platform and continue his He's stuff. calling stuff out now. Okay, that down B was pretty obvious. Yeah. But I don't think there was really a super safe option to punish it with, so the dash attack was the best he could get out of that. Uh, do you think uh, back air on Pichu can challenge? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure back yeah, air can. Yeah, it can because yeah. it's a multi-hit. Yeah. yeah. It'll catch it, and if he positions it just right, then you won't have to worry about getting hit by that automatic hitbox. Yeah. Which is just bad game design. <laughs> basically. I mean, basically, if you're at the ledge and you even slightly suspect they're going to down B, just jump. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, okay. IPK was definitely feeling nervous there. All right, he's, he's crisp now. Mm. Is loser semis best of five? Yes, it is. Okay, so we're going to be in for a long ride, buddies, <laughs> boys, dudes, yep. guys. But yeah, but if you ever, if you have even the slightest suspicion that uh, you're just gonna down B, if you jump, you can also prepare an aerial, and if you get hit by it, you're not gonna get grounded. Because if you get, if, if you get buried, you just take the percent instead of getting buried. Yeah, you're gonna die from it. it. It's like, even when you're edge guarding, it feels like you're on the defense from that down B. Because it's an automatic hit, so it's a little obnoxious to deal with, but you gotta make sure that you don't let that stuff get to you. I mean, if you can catch on to it, then it becomes something more punishable, right? Because there is a window when Zero Suit down bees where she's not really safe. Ooh, that was a that was a good uh, edge guard string right there. Ooh. He's dead. Oh, he caught his jump, I think. Yeah. yeah, he directional air dodge. I'm not sure how good that is on Zero Suit. Yeah, I thinking he was probably hoping he had double jump. I don't think Mahia's gonna let this make him flustered though, because oh, no, look at him tilt his shield. 
Yeah, but Mejia, like, when you see this guy, ooh, he probably just did a fourth. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, no. Dude. Yeah, I think he's shaking his head at that. It's, uh, yeah, especially for Pichu, you have even more reason to fear that. It's weird, like, even, like, my last against Mejia, I was like, okay, I'm going to watch out for it. I'm not going to get hit. Even though I get hit by it less, it's weird. You're, like, just... That's like some curse against Zero Satanus players. You're always bound to get hit by it at least once. Yeah, and there's also the fear of it that messes up a lot of people. Yeah. Because it's it's such a powerful option. Hmm. It's not like super powerful, but uh -huh. when you're at that certain percent, it's so dangerous. Hmm. That was a really good tech on IPK's part. Yeah, and I also just realized uh, Mejia just made this even off of that really early edge guard kill. Yeah, he was at IPK was around 70%, but Pichu, that's kill percent. Hmm. Maybe even for Kirby, I don't know. Yeah, dude, those platforms are really, really do help out Pichu. Oh, <laughs> and set not back. <laughs> yep, that's bad game design. Why would the, why would you design the hitbox to be able to miss like that? I also noticed the side B didn't snap the ledge right there. That's interesting. Zero suits. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, Mejia threw out the side B, and he was like right next to the ledge and didn't connect. Do you think maybe it doesn't if he holds down? Probably, or maybe he's too close. Ah, whatever. I'm nah, just looking at it wrong. But I mean, oh. overall, oh, oh. okay. If he didn't back up with that neutral special, he would have been able to punish with the jab mm -hmm. lock. But I mean, right now, IPK, especially at this percent, I mean, Pichu can get away with being a little non committal right now because just throw out Thunder Jolts. IPK has a humorous habit of not punishing on shield when he wants to get the kill. <laughs> like, he never grabs when the person's shielding uh -huh. at kill percent because he wants the kill. He doesn't want extra damage. He wants yeah. to kill them. Because, I mean, when you purchase someone's shield, they're likely going to stay in shield if they're not confident in that they can get away with dropping their shield. Especially against Pichu, a lot of players, I mean, they're justified in thinking this, but like, okay, if the Pichu's hitting me on my shield, I should probably be a little patient and not do, like, a panic, like, uh, roll or spot dodge. But if you keep shielding, the Pichu can just say, I'm going to just grab you if you're going to stay in here then. Yeah, which is, that's what makes Pichu scary. His shield pressure isn't particularly scary because he can't do too much damage to your shield unless you've been holding it for a really long time. Yeah. And if you're holding it for a really long time, he can just grab you. Mm -hmm. Because it's got, he has a lot of options over it overall. Back air can definitely kill Pichu, but that's going to be hard to connect because Pichu's really small. Yeah, See, I, yeah, I think Mejia's like trying to call out the Thunder Dolts right here. He's trying to go really low too, but that's not really safe. Yeah, I, I, was, I feel like if Mejia really wants to call the Thunder Dolts, he has to be a lot closer. Oh, dang. So Mejia, he's been trying to only up B while on under the ledges, so he's less punishable. Oh, really yeah. Because then he can't get punished by a forward smash. Oh, yeah, that's good. It's, it's a little safety check. So that's a really good thing that I didn't realize until. Hmm. Ooh. Oh yeah, I guess that is a nice advantage of it. Oh, I also know like when I played against Battlefield on Mejia, whenever he would always retreat to the top platform. So I guess that's something you can we should keep in mind uh, for a Zero Suit matchup then. I will. Hmm. That'll come in handy. And the right now, the thing about this is this is not unwinnable <laughs> for Mejia. Yeah, Mejia just has to get like maybe one or two neutral exchanges, and then maybe find a down B berry. All right. Well, IPK can get pretty much any one of his kill options to kill him back air. Maybe even forward air near the edge. <laughs> Down air, sour spot, forward tilt especially, oh, dash, dash attack there. maybe. Yeah, I mean, that only kills well, a Pikachu. That'll do it. So that's okay. game two. IPK won again, and we're yeah. best of five, so there's either one more match or three more matches. <laughs> Let's nah. see where we are. Yeah, IPK is definitely feeling himself out here right now. I... <laughs> do you think Thunderjolt is also giving Mejia a lot of trouble right now? It seems like he's not able to get around it that easily. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, remember, it is possible to call it. It still is difficult because you do have to be in range for that, and I don't think Zero Suit really. Yup, there we go. Okay, well, there's the option right there. Now, landing against landing attacks against Pichu won't be as hard because the disjoints cover below Lucina, the forward air especially. Yeah, and it's just you can just call out a Thunder Jolt with the forward air or up air, or even back air because that's, that's the Lucina's kill option. Yeah, I feel like he probably just doesn't have as much confidence in his Lucina because yeah. he probably doesn't feel like he's as consistent. He, yeah, I feel like he definitely practices with the Zero Suit a lot more than any of the character looks like. IPK Oof. doesn't really care which character he's using, though, because he comes yeah. the same. And all sorties fall a bit faster, so sorties are, in general, a lot, a lot easier to combo the most. Yeah. They're the generic fighters of this game. Yeah. Even though this is... <laughs> is that that? No. no, that can't be. Yeah. <laughs> barely. If he was barely. at, like, five more percent. Oh, oh, he was. He got scared of the Thunderjolt. Yeah, he went a bit too well. All right, well, he was able to bring it back from a deficit like this in the last game. One thing I would try if I was Lucina or someone is I would try to up special into the Thunder Jolt so that it gets it rid of the Thunder Jolt and it, also... Yeah, it'll clank with it. 
No, yeah. not clank. Because if it clanks, then you you. I'm talking. I'm talking about getting hit by the move so that you move a bit closer to the stage. Oh, I see. Yeah, that would work actually. Because that's better than kind of just drifting really far down. Yeah, because yeah, we also saw how risky that was. I mean, he had definitely got a little too scared by the normal result. Uh, I don't think grabbing it's going to be easy. Oh, um, out of shield up is going to be really useful for him. Yeah, because I mean, a, a strong thing that matters in the match against Pichu. Do you got a good out of shield option? No. Okay. Well, Pichu's just going to kind of stay there and knock on your door all over and over. He's going to keep on hitting. I'm going to I'm going to keep on saying that when I refer to shield pressure knocking on your door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep I'm going to keep saying that. That's a good one. <laughs> I hope more commentators pick that up. <laughs> uh, but I mean, oh. edge guarding Pichu probably isn't that hard in this situation. Oh, okay. I killed. Damn. But. I mean, Lucina, it's definitely hard for Lucina to get strings as a sorted character, because sorted characters are more like stray hitters. And most, they have like small and air combos, so if he wants to bring us back, he does have to be patient. Definitely. The, the, the amount of movement required to be effective with Lucina is definitely higher than Zero Suit, because Zero Suit's more about movement <laughs> yeah. than Lucina. Plus, Lucina wants to be in the air more, because, I mean, her aerials. Oh. That's going to be a large part of the game. Okay, that's something Interesting you can option. do. Yeah. It's not even a really great option because, you know, oh, ooh, okay. if he caught that out in the other way, that would have been really good. Yeah. Uh, with a back air, he might be able to kill Pichu, but Pichu's pretty short, so that'd still be kind of yeah. hard to land. I also don't think IPK really... Also, Mejia did just make this even, huh? Yeah, more or less. <laughs> oh, but he did normal get up, and Pichu's hitbox for his yeah. forge didn't last long enough to punish that all the time, forever, <laughs> always. But yeah, I noticed that IPK... Or I guess Mejia never really edge guards Pichu that much. So I don't know why IBK is assigned to, to uh, recover to um, off stage or on stage. Ooh, dang. Instead of on the ledge. That was really interesting. The sour spot down air would have been able to get another jab block if I if mm -hmm. he didn't tech it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that would have been pretty good. I sometimes forget that Pichu can crawl. It's so arbitrary. <laughs> no real reason to, to do it. Nah. He's still, it's it's kind of small. but It's it's like positioning. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And a forward air will definitely kill. Oh, I is. think he... I think it's probably better for him to throw out neutral air. Oh, well, that's it. Doesn't matter it. what he throws out because that's the set. And that's a three up from IPK. Yeah, IPK. I would have gone with Cena from the beginning, so you have more time to adjust. Yeah, I feel like that definitely would have been a better option right there. Maybe even a different stage, probably doing some.